welcome back to the channel of the windsurf coach it's great to have you back and yes this one is about windsurfing and no this is not the year 2015 this is the year 2023 so i have the option to go windfoiling i have the option to go winging this time i choose the fin in this age of wind foiling and winging i want to see if this old school fin stuff is still any fun this is gonna be one of those light wind days the wind is only 10 to 16 knots if i'm lucky so i took out my big slalom board it's an 80 centimeter wide old isonic is it still worth using this stuff or should you just sell it get rid of it we're gonna find out today rigging time isabella will prepare her wing board equipment and i will do my fin equipment let's see who's faster Isabella has already finished and I'm only halfway. She's about twice as fast as I am, but despite the fact that the preparation might be a lot slower, I'm still eager to go. I haven't used my 9.4 for quite a while now and I'm really keen to take her for a spin. Partner it with an 80 cm wide slalom board and a 46 cm fin and it should be enough to get me going on this patchy and rainy day. And as you can see it does. At first the sail feels really big and as I'm not really perfectly balanced I slide my mast foot a little to the front lower my boom a bit and then the balance comes back now it feels much better as the wind is quite patchy and there are some large wind holes i tag to sneak a bit upwind every time when i know the wind is not enough for a nice jibe it's really amazing how easy it is to get onto the plane even in those light winds with a white board and a large sail. But is it any fun? I think that says it all. Just rail the board a little and you'll find it makes it a lot easier to track upwind and to go through the chop. The wind is so light that I lose too much speed during the jibes and I have to get going afterwards. If the wind is just a little more you can just continue your jibe fully planing. But once going the apparent wind is strong enough to get you through the wind holes so you can plane and plane and plane. Actually this is quite a bit of fun. Despite the light wind, the fin is still fast. What I like most about the fin is that you can feel the raw power. You can feel the board skipping over the waves on the jump. In this foil era, the fin hasn't lost any of its glory. I wouldn't say the fin is better than the foil or the foil is better than the fin but I must say the real sense of power and speed are very attractive qualities that will ensure its survival in the future. The foil is very smooth and glides effortlessly and smoothly through the wind holes. As you can see Isabella is elegantly flying over the water with her 6 square meters wing while I'm just planing with my heavy 9.4 square meter sail.
but as soon as a gust hits my sail, I can feel the adrenaline rush as the board accelerates over the chop like a race car. This fin stuff is still great, I still love it. And of course the foil has its advantage, you can use smaller sails. And in race trim the foil will be faster in light winds. But just skipping over the chop at 45-50 kilometers an hour is an amazing sensation. No, I'm not getting rid of that light wind stuff, I'm gonna hold on to it. I definitely hope you liked this video about the light wind fin stuff. Do you like it? Please leave a like. And of course, don't forget, subscribe to the channel of the Windsurf Coach so you don't have to miss out on any of the action. Whether it be fin, foil or wing stuff, you'll find it on the channel. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. See you on the water.